When you have lots of products or product variations, you need a different approach to labeling. Manually typing in your product data can quickly become unmanageable, and you don't want to waste time updating hundreds of fixed label templates for every change and update. One straightforward solution is to collect your labeling data in an Excel worksheet and connect your Excel data to a variable label template. This process allows you to change only one template instead of hundreds for each of your products. While common, remember that if you use custom printing applications or integrations made with NiceLabel automation, connecting labels with Excel data may not be the best solution for you. Consider connecting your printing applications or automation configurations directly to your database instead. In this video, you'll learn how to connect your label templates to Excel worksheets, and how to print multiple label variants with variable data from Excel. If you have Label Cloud or LMS, store your Excel files in Documents in Control Center. Otherwise, store your Excel files locally or on your network. Today, you'll work with a local Excel file that gets installed with NiceLabel. You can find it in your Samples folder. Structure your Excel worksheet so columns contain data you can connect to your variable label objects. Your Excel worksheet rows should contain your different products or product variations. When you create a new product, just add another row to Excel. First, create a new label template. Run the New Label Setup wizard to set up your new label template and keep the wizard on default settings. If you use Office 365, you may need to install Microsoft Access Runtime to avoid errors. There are multiple versions available, but we recommend you install Microsoft Access 2013 Runtime. To connect your label template to Excel, click the Data tab and then click Excel in your home ribbon to run the Excel database wizard. Browse to find your Excel file. Click Open and then click Next. If your Excel file contains multiple worksheets, choose which worksheet to use by selecting it from the table dropdown. Choose which columns to use on your label template and click Next. Choose how many labels to print for each record and click Next. Choose whether to create dynamic objects on your template connected to each of your selected Excel columns. Click Next to see a preview of your Excel data and choose additional options. Click Finish to complete your connection and create your dynamic text objects connected with Excel data. Each text object contains values from your first Excel row. You can view and manage your data sources and connected Excel columns in your data pane or dynamic data manager. You can see new changes in effect by making a test print. At print time, Designer prompts you to select which products to print. You can select individual rows to print from your populated Excel data. To improve the look of your label template, add a barcode connected to your Excel EAN column data. Because the database wizard automatically creates text objects for all your Excel database fields, delete the text object with code EAN data you don't need on your template. Instead, add a dynamic barcode object connected to your code EAN data and set your barcode type to EAN13. Your product descriptions are long strings of text that change from row to row in Excel. To make sure your data displays correctly on your label template, Replace your dynamic text object connected to your description column with a dynamic text box object with the best fit option enabled. Reposition your other text objects to make room for your text box. Drag the text box object borders to resize it on your template. In text box properties, click style and text fit to enable fit content by adjusting the font size. Now your Excel product descriptions of different lengths scale to fit in your dynamic text box objects on your label template. Continue designing your label by adding fixed and dynamic objects, choosing object properties, and adding additional data sources. This finished label template includes a batch variable, a production date variable, and an expiration date function. 
Save your label template. With your template connected to your Excel data, at print time you can print all records, print only some of your records, or use a search filter to retrieve and print only specific records. You're now using the same universal label template to print labels for all your products with data from your Excel worksheet. You can use this same process to connect and use data from other database types, like Access or Microsoft SQL on all your label templates.